everybody waiting for you. When Disney called me and asked me to come and come in and have a makeover done, I was definitely ready to go through the metamorphosis, <laughs> especially in those gowns. Gorgeous. Hi. Hi. How are you? Guys, Gary Jones, Oscar nominated costume designer, and Robin, mwah, his costumer. Gary, the mastermind behind these fabulous ball gowns. They are breathtaking, and I'm really excited because I'm going to get to wear a few of them right after they fix my hair. Anne Hathaway's hairstyle for the coronation dress took hours to do, but Rebecca, one of the best hairdressers in the salon, is going to give me a simpler version for my PD2 makeover. First, Rebecca uses hairspray so my hairstyle will last longer. Then she spends about 40 minutes working with a hot curling iron. And about 30 curls later, one last curl. She carefully loops and pins each curl back to give me a real princess look. And for a finishing touch, Rebecca adds jeweled barrettes and pearl pins. So this is what it takes to become a princess. Beauty's pain, honey. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Good job, Rebecca. From the time I was about 10 or 11, uh, I, would, I would make off with the camcorder, the family video recorder, and just recruit the neighborhood kids in little skits that I would direct and write and star in. And uh, yeah, I'd edit it and, you know, as, as best I could at 11 and 12 and 13 and present it at the little parties that we'd all have in junior high. And those tapes are out there somewhere. <laughs> well, now that my hair's all in place, and looking beautiful. Ron Ann here is going to help with my makeup. I actually have my own line of makeup. It's called UBU Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And um, it's fabulous. It's hypoallergenic. Um, and I'm going to be using every product on you today. Awesome. So you can tell me how you like it. Now we're going to start with foundation. And I use a stick foundation. There's many types out there. But to create your look today that we're looking for, I'm going to use a little bit the princess look. Yeah, the princess look, which is very, very glamorous. Always brush down because the hairs on your face lay down and if you go up the hairs will be sticking up on the face. You want to make sure you blend that all the way down into the neck and you can even go into the ear if you want to. Now we can go to color which is fun. All right we're gonna start with a light shade. Now the the first shade goes on to the lid. Okay, so the next thing is, it's called acorn matte. So we're gonna go right into the crease. Now, how do you determine your crease? Yours is right above the eyeball, and this is where the crease starts. I always start on the outside and bring it in. Windshield wiper motions, going back and forth. Now we're starting to create dimension on your eye. From here, we're doing liner. I'm going to go from the middle of the eye and I'm going to brush this cake liner out to the corner so it's going to give you a little bit more of a cat eye look. And this is what she had in the movie. The liner makes it all. And again, practice makes perfect. You're not going to get it on the first time. I know, and you'll get frustrated. Now, mascara. We're going to start on the outside, and we're going to pull up those lashes. Okay, you're starting to look like a princess. Now, blush. Blush goes on the apple. I do circular motions right on the apple. The apple here for you is right, right on your bone. Now, lips. Lips for this look, I think, is going to be... Uh, kind of in between um, a brown and a burgundy color for this. We're going to use a lip liner, and lip liner is important for the reason that it helps to seal in the lipstick. When you choose a color for your lipstick and lip liner, make sure the lip liner is not too dark. It's not darker than the lipstick. You want to make sure that it's almost the exact same color. So I blend that in a little bit, and I've already chosen my color for you in my palette. We're finished. 
the set in the coronation gown, people just stopped and stared. The dress was gorgeous. It just glittered every time she walked, and it was just spectacular, really. Wow. I How do you like, feel? Oh, a princess. Great. I have something for you to make the vision complete. I don't know if anything could even top this dress. Well, let's just see. Check no. it out. This is not the, the necklace that we used in the movie. It's another one from Chopard. And these are the real earrings that wow. we need. So we thought you might like to try these on. Really? Yeah. There's only one word for Chopard. That's, wow, I'm wearing a house. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Chopard, Chopard, Chopard. Um, we love the jewelry in this one. It was big and bling, bling, and fabulous. Oh. It's ice. Heavy. Ice, ice, ice baby. Ice. Now, we need to complete your ensemble. Okay. It's your coronation cape. Which? As you see. This has. is beautiful. Now, just so you know, this is a hand beaded, hand embroidered Indian silk and an ivory duchess satin gown that we designed after having done a lot of research and after having taken some inspiration from Queen Elizabeth's own coronation gown. So it gown is a royal lineage. In, yes, uh, in 1952. It's a heavy dress. How would one maneuver oneself? You can walk straight ahead and not worry about the front of your dress. A princess walks forward and never looks back. Never looks back. It was great. Um, every day, really, just I would, we got the sides, which is, you know, part of the script for the day that they were going to shoot, and I just paid attention to how would I do this scene. When Annie came on the set in the red dress, I thought, oh, I want to be the one wearing it. People were in love with this dress. There was kind of a, a gauzy material that was on the, the skirt of the red dress, and they found that um, when you attached kind of rhinestones to the top of it, you could see the backs, and they said, oh, no, 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 we can't have that. So not only did they individually hand place all the rhinestones on this gauzy material, they turned the material over and put rhinestones on the back so that all you would see was glittering gorgeousness. And I thought, oh my God, I am so lucky. This is great craftsmanship. And here's your oh, crown. Oh, wow. This is the crown from the first Princess Diaries. It has oh. been recreated for the second Princess Diaries. And now you can wear it. Now that's regal. Ooh. It's a big responsibility to wear a tiara like this. So it's back to Rebecca and Ron Ann for touch-ups. Rebecca is making sure my hair isn't overwhelmed by the tiara and vice versa. Makeup! Ron Ann is going a little bolder with my lipstick so that it matches the fabulous red dress. And now, my dear, you're ready to put on that gown. This is it? I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day. No, I've been waiting my whole life to put on a dress like this. Putting on the red dress today, I was glad it fit. And uh, that was my favorite dress. I walked a little taller, a bit straighter. It was just phenomenal. I just can't resist trying on the wedding dress. But just like Princess Mia, 